Hello friends, this is Nilesh Chaykar. In this tutorial, we'll study 2D transformations. In 2D transformation, we'll go for translation, rotation, and the scaling. First, we'll see translation. Let us assume that this is our x, -x y axis, and this is x axis. Have one point over here whose coordinate positions are x comma y, and I want to translate this point to a new location whose position are x dash comma y dash now this distance is uh, x dash and this distance is uh, y dash this is x and this is y now we got this new location x dash comma y dash by adding this distance to x and this distance to y so let us assume this distance as uh, tx which equals to x dash minus x x dash minus x means this distance and uh, this uh, distance as uh, ty that is a translation distance and that equals to ty equals to y dash minus y so now our new location that is uh, x dash and y dash that equals to our old x plus this distance so that can be written as x plus tx that is a translation distance and y dash becomes equals to this y plus this distance that is ty so that can be written as y plus ty that is translation distance now we can summarize this in matrix form as x dash y dash equals to old xy plus translation distance that is tx and uh, ty so this can be written in general form as distance plus old location and this is new so uh, this was about uh, translation we'll go for uh, rotation now before uh, going into rotation we'll clear our basic trigonometry for that let us assume this right angle triangle this is right angle and this angle is uh, this angle is 5 degree opposite side of uh, right angle is hypotenuse let us assume it as r now phi is uh, given by opposite upon hypotenuse so that becomes equals to o by r we'll move this r to this side so that becomes o equals to r sin phi uh, same case with the cos cos phi is equals to adjacent side so on this side uh, call it as a a by hypotenuse that is r will move this to this side r so a becomes r cos phi so these are two equations of uh, a and o but r this point is given by x comma y so since this is x are this distance becomes a and that x becomes a and this point is y so are this distance become o so that is y is equals to o so our x coordinate becomes equals to r cos theta and y point becomes equals to 
fine. Fine. This should be fine. Okay. Rotations. Let us assume these two are like this and have one point over here. Whose coordinates are x comma y. I want to rotate this point here whose coordinates are x dash comma y dash and this is our angle phi and this is a new angle that is the rotation angle theta this x is given by r cos theta as we seen that is r cos phi and y is given by r sin phi now our new point x dash and y dash will be equals to x dash equals to just this angle will get added to each other so this becomes equals to r cos theta plus phi and y dash will be equals to r sin of theta plus phi oh, good enough so we can eliminate this r from here for that for that formula of cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a on b so we'll write we'll expand this formula r into cos of theta into cos of phi minus r into sin of theta into sin of phi our next step is eliminating r this r into cos theta is r x so we'll write x into cos theta minus this r sin phi is r y so that will be equals to y into sin theta so this was one part now same with y dash so that equals to r into the formula of sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so we'll expand it sin theta into cos phi plus r cos theta into sin phi so our final formula becomes this r into cos phi r into cos phi is x x into sin theta plus y into cos theta so we have eliminated x from here or oh, sorry r from here in matrix form we can write it as our new x dash y dash equals to old x y coordinates into 2 by 2 matrix which consists of cos theta and here sin theta again sin theta and, and finally cos theta so we can make a judgment x dash equals to this into this that is x cos theta plus 
y into this so that is y into sin theta so here it is minus so we have to put a minus sign over here so that will make it as a minus so it is necessary to put a minus sign over here and same with y dash this x into sin theta that is x into and this y into this cos theta plus y into cos theta now this was about anti-clockwise uh, rotation and in case of clockwise rotation we'll have phi minus theta over here and same in case of y dash the only change in a matrix uh, will be here we'll get a plus sign and here we'll have a minus sign so this was about the rotation and we can move to now scaling so now let this to be the axis this is x or this is y and this is x and scaling we alter the size of the object uh, let us assume this as a square i want to enlarge this object by double so let this be its double size this is our old point and coordinates are x comma y and this is the new point whose coordinates are 2x comma 2y that is we doubled the size of this square so our this x dash and y dash becomes equals to x into the scaling object call it as the sx and y dash equals to y into scaling object of y that is y here we multiplied it by 2 that is scaling object is 2 so it is doubled the size of what it was now if the scaling object sx and sy are equal then there is no scaling that is a size is same if it is greater than 1 then object is enlarged and if that is less than 1 that is then size of the object is reduced so this was about the scaling uh, still we can take an example of that and uh, we can try the different combination of uh, sx and sy uh, if sx is 2 and sy is 1 that will make the new x dash as uh, x into 2 and y dash will make as y into 1 so the new object will be x into 2 that is double in the size of x and y will be the same so it will be a rectangle so in this way we can achieve the scaling uh, thank you guys for the watching this video uh, hope you like it